Hi, in this session of polynomials, we are going to see how to divide any two given polynomials and we'll see what is division algorithm. So suppose there's a school assembly hall with 278 students and they have to form four rows and stand such that each row have the same number of students. So how would you find the number of students in each row? We would divide 278 students by 4 rows. So 4 times 6 is minus 24. We are left with 3 and 8 is carried down. Now 38 becomes our new dividend. So again 4 times 9 is 36 and we are left with 2. So this is the point where we stop our division because here the remainder is lesser than the divisor or it has to be zero. Now you might be wondering why aren't we using any decimals. That is because in this case uh, we are dividing number of students. But in case if we were dividing a fruit or if we were dividing a bar of chocolate, in that case we could have further carried on the division. So we would have put a point here and taken a zero down here and then we would have got 4 times 5 is 20 and then we would have remainder 0 so 4 will completely divide the dividend by 69.5 but for now we'll just stop till the remainder 2 so ultimately we stop the division when our remainder is 0 or it is lesser than the divisor so you can see I've used a kind of color coding here so what do I mean by division algorithm? We are probably familiar with it. Now we know that 27 can be written as 4 times 6 plus 3, right? So when it is written in the form of dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder, this form is known as the division algorithm. And this form stays true for any kind of division. So here is our algorithm chart and every time we come across a division algorithm, we'll put it down here. Here we can see that we follow kind of pattern in dividing. Since we divided absolute numbers, it was quite easy. But in case we had expressions with variables like these, which we call as polynomials, and if we were dividing any two of these, say we were dividing minus 14x plus 6x cubed minus 10, with another polynomial x plus 2 then how would we divide will it be similar to division of numbers will it follow the same pattern well let us see so as in our numerical division we took smaller number as our divisor and the greater number as the dividend in the same way here we will take the polynomial with the smaller degree as our divisor and the polynomial with greater degree as the dividend but when we write polynomials, we have to first arrange them in a descending order by their degree. Now our goal here is to get the remainder equal to zero or to get the remainder lesser than the divisor. So what do we do? We will try and cancel out each of the terms of the dividend. Let's begin with the first term 6x cubed and the first term in the divisor is x. So we will ask the question, what times x will be 6x cubed? x into 6x square is 6x cubed. As we get a number in the quotient, so this means we are multiplying 6x square by x plus 2 and not just x. So now we'll take the second term. 2 into 6x square will be 12x square. So first we multiplied 6x square by x and then by 2. So now we have a 12x square but in our dividend we don't have an x square term. So what do we do? We actually do have an x square term but the coefficient of that x square term is 0. So we can just simply add it over there. So now we have a 0x square under which we can write that 12x square. Then we will subtract as we are subtracting the entire term 6x cubed plus 12x square, the signs will change. So the positive sign becomes the negative sign. 
So positive and negative 6x cube gets cancelled and we are left with a minus 12x square. So now we can carry down the remaining terms minus 14x and minus 10 as it is. So now we have a new dividend that is minus 12x square minus 14x minus 10. So again what times x will give us minus 12x square that is minus 12x and then we will multiply minus 12x by 2 so we get a minus 24x again we will subtract the entire term so the signs will change so minus becomes plus so we are left with 10x minus 10 which is our remainder can we divide further yes we can multiply x into something to get 10x right so we will continue with our division 10x minus 10 now will become the dividend then x into 10 will give us 10x and 2 into 10 will give us 20 on subtracting the signs will change here positive and negative signs get cancelled and we are left with minus 30 so minus 30 is our remainder now to check whether our division is correct we can use the division algorithm method so our division algorithm states dividend is equal to divisor into quotient plus remainder so let us try to prove it so on our right hand side we have x plus 2 into 6x square minus 12x plus 10 plus minus 30 so we'll have to open the brackets and we are going to multiply each of the terms of the first bracket with the terms from the second bracket let's start with x x into 6x square is 6x cube x into minus 12x gives us minus 12x square x into 10 gives us 10x then let's go with 2 2 into 6x square will give us 12x square 2 into minus 12x is minus 24x and 2 into 10 is 20 and after opening the bracket we get minus 30 then let's write the terms according to the degree so now we have 6x cube here negative and positive 12x square gets cancelled then we have minus 14x minus 10 which is our dividend so this means our division is correct and we have used the algorithm to prove it so what are the steps used in dividing polynomials firstly we have to check that the polynomial with higher degree is our dividend and the polynomial with lower degree is our divisor then we check whether it is arranged in the descending order of the degree third if any of the degree is missing we write it down with 0 as the coefficient so which means if an x square is missing we will write it as 0 x square fourth multiply the divisor with a term such that we can cancel the terms in the dividends place five as we get a quotient we multiply it with all the terms of the divisor and lastly when we subtract we subtract all the terms which means the signs change and last we stop our division when the remainder is either zero or it is lesser than the divisor